Hi everyone. Okay, so while I'm a little bit hesitant with this um, whole notion of pushing or recommending supplements, I do need to share this one. So in this PCOS journey, it's always um, a, an exploration and evolution of knowledge. And there's this um, supplement that's reached for it called inositol. Now, I don't know <laughs> what world I was living in, I had no idea about the importance of the supplement when it comes to PCOS, um, you know, uh, management in general. Vitamins and all those things, obviously, common sense, we need to utilize that, eat healthy, incorporate all the right minerals and vitamins for our system. But the issue of insulin resistance is a unique one. You know, vitamin B, for example, will not help insulin resistance. Uh, or like, you know, just uh, the vitamin B alone, let's say, uh, uh, will not help insulin resistance and so forth. So there's compounds out there that are there to assist with it. And that's, you know, my learning curve is that it doesn't matter how much vitamin C I, I, I will take, it will not assist with insulin resistance unless I go on metformin, excuse me, or use NAC, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. So the natural supplementation for metformin, like I, when I came across NAC, I began realizing that my biggest issue is, and for PCOS sufferer, is not just the vitamin deficiencies alone, but also the piece about um, insulin resistance. That part I was kind of ignoring for a while. You know, I was busy trying to lose the weight through diet, exercise, supplementation, but that part was missing until I came across NAC, that neoacetylene, I guess still can't say the name that piece and I recognize, my God, this, there's a block missing here. So the vitamins are one piece, healthy diet, sugar-free, you know, try, trying to go sugar-free, gluten-free for sure. There's no question about that um, and, and so forth. But the piece about insulin resistance was not clear. And uh, many of us are circling that same circle of missing something, m missing some piece until it all falls into place. For me, and possibly, you know, I may have been guiding you wrong, was we're missing the insulin resistance piece, the um, stabilizing, sugar stabilizing, and also th those pieces. So NAC was the first one um, that I shared when it came to the insulin resistance piece. And so the second one that I'm sharing, which I think is my all-time winner and all-time favorite, and I can't say enough about, about it, is inositol, also known as myo-inositol. So you're going to come across this uh, kind of brand or this label and or with myo uh, inositol in front of it. And this is the one that I highly recommend to take. When you do your research, there you will be finding that they're going to be linking d inositol as well. And I personally am not convinced by the argument that you need to combine the two to be have effective results because one, it's working for me. And secondly, I'm not convinced by the arguments. There's tons of articles and you have to do your own thorough research to decide what it is that you want to spend money on and take and what your body actually needs. So my own acetyl alone seems to be very effective. I'm using it conjun in conjunction with NAC. Um, NAC I take on and off. It's not all the time, but I'm taking this daily for about a month and a half now. And it's been amazing. This you know, assists with um, insulin resistance. Um, it assists with, um, you know, allegedly with um, fertility. Now, when I'm not in a situation where I'm going, I'm trying to, you know, conceive, so I can't comment on this. But people have said that this is assisted with fertility as well. Again, do your own research. You may need to supplement with other things such as Cairo, um, and also as well, and or other things. But you, you know you know your body and uh, try to figure out your own body and figure out figure out what, what works but this does work um stable mood stabilizing huge thing for pcos the foggy brain the moodiness the agitation the tiredness energy levels goes on and on and on this has done it amazing for me i feel like a whole new person just by taking this uh it kicked in about uh second or third uh, end of you know uh, the second week uh, when I was um, taking, um, I, I'm taking this. So uh, I can't say enough about enough about it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave 
um, them, you know, below and or message me. And if you have any other um, supplement or concoction that you're working with, please let me know. So again, I'm not saying don't take your vitamins. Absolutely take your vitamins. Me personally, what I'm doing for myself is vitamin D, a multivitamin, uh, fish oils, and NAC, and this. If I'm low on funds, I will kick off NAC for sure and just use this. Um, but I will use this as my foundation. If I'm even like if I'm low on funds, I will even kick out multivitamins um, and start trying to incorporate a more healthier diet, but keeping this because again, remember, vitamins serve a different function. Stuff like this serves a different different fu function. Right now, nothing in my diet. If I took you know knock out and uh, and I was only taking vitamins, that is not going to control and deal with the insulin resistance, and that is a big aha moment for me when I came across the other video um, or when I uploaded the other uh, video called NAC is you know can I, re can I replace metformin was I realized wait a second I'm missing a big chunk of assisting myself which is really head-on dealing with the insulin resistance issue because I'm not on metformin so um, hopefully this helps hopefully this even video makes sense and uh, again questions or comments let me know and uh, before I forget, um, you know, keep drinking your spearmint tea at least as well when it comes to her spiritism. Hopefully when everything balances, you won't need the spearmint tea uh, at some point. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Best of luck and as usual, drop me a line if you can. All right, take care. Bye.